Hey guys, it's Tim here from Lacquer Lockdown and I am back and I'm going to show you how to create this really cool galaxy chrome nail art. So um, starting with my usual latex free um, cuticle guards, you guys know I'm obsessed with these because they really um, keep the cleanup minimized and, and they're not as messy as my old homemade um, cuticle guard um, that I used to make at home. They're just a little sneaky tough to get on when you're doing it one hand with a um, tweezer. But once I get it set up, it makes everything easy. And the pink that you're seeing there, I actually have um, some sort of UV blocking gloves that I use when I, um, I'm using the UV lamp to sort of protect the rest of my hand um, just from extra UV uh, radiation. So I'm gonna start with uh, peel off base coat. Uh, my usual base coat for nail art um, and just put down one nice even coat and this is going to help me to be able to remove this pretty easily and the polish that I'm using although you can't see it because the labeling is in all black that's Mossera's um, Obsidian and it's a very very good um, one coat black uh, nail polish it's actually my favorite one coat uh, black nail polish normally I think you know monster developed this obviously to use with their magnetics but it works so well for everything else that I ended up buying several bottles and now it's my favorite to use whenever I'm doing nail art that requires a black base coat so I can get it done quickly and then I'm gonna be using one door no wipe um, gel top coat this has been my favorite for a while now I got it on Amazon and it's um, fairly inexpensive and it works really well the other thing I like about this one is some of my other one uh, no wipe uh, gel top coats that I had been using dried up really quickly inside the bottle for some reason but this one's been lasting and doing really well so I'm gonna cure that for about two minutes and I'll say, I, I, if you've been paying attention, you'll see this is a new um, LED lamp. My old lamp just like randomly broke. I went to plug it in and it just wasn't lighting up anymore. Um, so it's really disappointing. So now I have this new 45 um, watt, I don't know, I believe it's 48 watt and it's super nice. Um, I'm going to be using What's Up Nails Black Chrome um, Powder, which I think, I'm not sure if I've used it once before in a tutorial here but um, they really give you like a very generous size amount I got this on during Black Friday and I think it was like six dollars or something like it was very cheap and the jar is really full so um, and as you can see it's it's really nice it has a sort of like gray itch looking luster but I just keep buffing it in um, and you can see the mirror effect of this polish or powder is really really good so I don't this is the only black chrome powder that I own um, I put the links for that as well everything that I'm using the links for it is in the info box below so now I'm going to take Mora's um, black gel stamping polish um, you can try this with regular stamping polish but I would choose one of your slowest drying um, polishes this is Moe London sci-fi plate number nine and this is the um, see-through stamper from Bliss Kiss I'm going to go ahead and stamp the Mora gel polish and black onto my nails and the reason I chose this is because the gel polish stays wet for a really long time and it works really well with foils so I'm gonna be using this rainbow swirl foil um, that I purchased from Dollar Nail Art quite a while ago um, and you'll see um, once I get my foil cut I'm gonna take the back to make the foil stick better it's always a good idea to kind of remove that um, colored backing that foils come with not all foils have them but this one does so you'll see here I'm gonna go ahead and trim off a small piece of the foil and once I get the size that I want then I'm going to flip the foil over and you can see it here clearly that yellow or I guess goldish kind of backing um, I'm gonna take a uh, cotton swab that I soaked in Q-tips. I'm sorry, that I soaked that I soaked in acetone, and I will flip it over and wipe off the yellow coat. Um, the trick is you don't really want to scrub at it; just really saturate 
the exactly like saturate the um, cotton ball so that you only just have to do like a gentle wipe and then you can take it and press it onto the damp um, gel stamping polish and it stayed wet that entire time while I was doing that I think you actually get the best application for foils when you go in with a q-tip and press all over the the nail and so that's why I'm going in with a q-tip you can also use your stamper I think that helps as well to kind of push down and give even pressure um, and when you do that you'll see how nicely the foil applied I've got a little bit of a glare from the lights of the camera but it really did apply um, so beautifully so you get this contrast of like chrome and the um, and the foil and I'm just gonna clean up the tiniest bit of um, any leftover kind of powder and things in my cuticles and I'm using the one door no wipe gel top coat there to seal in the manicure because I wanted um, I don't want the foil to crinkle um, now this is the dollar nail art um, foil glue and it's my favorite foil glue actually because it kind of do you see how it when it applies it it has this bluish hue and what happens is it dries it goes completely clear and the, I like that because it lets you know okay the the glue is very close to dry I like to do, do it where it's almost totally dry clear um, and so I know that it's ready I'm, I'm I can apply the foil and it's gonna stick properly and not still be wet and just pull off or something so um, you go ahead and that same foil and this one I didn't wipe the back off because you don't need to do that as much for um, things that aren't being stamped um, but you see look at how nicely the application I'm getting and I'm still just going in with a q-tip and just rubbing all over um, as firmly as I can nice even strokes just to make sure that I have a total application of the foil and you can already see it's um, the remaining unused parts lifting because the foils attaching so well so I just keep going until I'm sure I've gotten as much of the um, foil applied as I want and then I remove the excess and I didn't get it totally applied but I'm not worried about it because I'm gonna take um, that same uh, Moira uh, gel stamping polish in black and this is still uh, sci-fi plate number nine but I'm choosing a different pattern uh, more geographic and the see-through stamper and I'm gonna stamp right on top right on top of the foil and um, using that still wet foil then I'm going to go in and sort of do almost, you can think of it as the reverse of what I have been doing on the other nails where I started with the black chrome. This time I started with the foil and now I'm going to take the black chrome and rub that into the, foil, the um, gel stamping, I'm sorry, the stamping polish gel. So, um, but you don't really want to rub. I think I talked about this before in another video where I made like a horrible mistake. You just want to dab, 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 um, sort of press the... Um, the powder into the wet gel polish so that you get an application but um, if you actually rub it you will sort of um, totally obliterate the foil and you don't want to do that so once you press it then you can take your um, cleanup brush and flick away all of the excess see that and you still have the beauty of the foil underneath but now you also have the black chrome and once you get that all cleaned away then you can go back in if you want to and buff at the powder a little bit more if you want more shine I was actually pretty happy with this so I'm just gonna go ahead and take off my uh, cuticle guard which is sticking a little bit here um, I think I came up a little high on my um, top coat and so it didn't come off in one nice smooth piece as it usually does so try to be careful of that but it does come off nice and cleanly and you see because of that I have very little cleanup that I um, have to do and I just have that tiny little eensy weensy piece and once I get that I'm like yeah so I'm just gonna clean um, right at the top of my cuticles a little bit and this brush that I'm using is the pure um, number four angular cleanup brush and I got that from what's up nails it is my favorite cleanup brush I love it so much it gets right into the crevices and I'm gonna be using again that um, no wipe top coat from one door now you can always use regular 
um, top coat, but I wouldn't, I, I almost wouldn't recommend that because if you do that, your foil is going to crinkle and you won't get this cool um, look like refractory, sort of distressed and you see the foil peeking through the black chrome and then the black chrome reflecting. I think this came out looking really, really cool. Um, I hope you guys like it. Um, it's definitely something funky and very different from other things that I've created, but um, overall creates a, a really fun mood. And I actually think this would go really well with some Halloween um, looks. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this, give it a thumbs up. Um, and I will see you next time with some more Halloween nail art. Okay, bye.